Researchers at Alberta Children's Hospital are studying preterm babies to determine if gesture development can provide clues about the likelihood of developing language problems later on in childhood. The study, believed to be the first of its kind, is still in its early stages, but investigators hope the findings will one day help to create a simple diagnostic test that healthcare providers could use to flag and prevent potential language problems. So there are specific gestures that we're looking for. There are things, uh, one is called the proto-declarative, which is a, a referential point and the child looks to their, their partner and back to the object. The parent then will provide the word because it's very clear what the child wants. The child learns that word because we know a child won't develop language if they're not attending to the object that they want a name for. Researchers affix small reflectors to the child's forehead, cheeks, arms and tummy that provide spatial references for creating the computer animation. While the baby sits on mom's lap, Dr. Liu uses toys in a standardized procedure to interact with the child and attempts to elicit communication at the child's developmental level. We're hoping to um, find when we can first identify difficulties in gesture communication development so that we can intervene as early as possible. There's all kinds of evidence showing that the earlier you intervene, the, the better results you have. So that's why we're looking at shoulders and arms and head because all of those um, come into force for a communicative gesture. And we have a very narrow window actually because these communicative gestures start at about nine months and then a child starts starts talking around 12 months. By 18 months the gestures and words and verbal are very complex. By the time they're two, as you can see with Chloe, um, they're using multi-word utterances and aren't gesturing so much. We well, received a call from the hospital just asking if we wanted to partake in the study and Clay and I both thought that, you know, if there was anything that we could learn from this experience and how to better communicate with Chloe that it would be more beneficial for her and also for other families in the future, people who also have preterm babies. Particularly relevant today is, is our um, collaboration between the, the delay in communication development and how the children are moving. So we're actually um, bringing those two disciplines together which is um, entirely unique to our knowledge that that's never been done before. This lab has given us an opportunity to objectively measure gestures before we've relied on um, observational methods which can be rigorous if you do them properly but this is giving us an opportunity to really objectively look at the quality of the development of gestures um, because we're able to look at timing within seconds and combinations and also um, the direction of gaze which is really important to communication in the early developmental years.